Tayang, where are you going? I prepared juice for you. Come back and drink it. You said while showing the glass to him, but he didn't turn back and went out of the house while saying, No, I don't want your handmade things. Throw it in the sink. And from now on, don't prepare anything for me. He said in his cold, scary voice and went out of the house. And then tears form in your eyes. What? Throw it in the sink? I made something for him for the first time. Then how can he say like that? And what he said? He won't eat anything I prepared. You fell sad by his words and tear droplets form in your eyes and you started crying. It is evening time. You are playing with Jumsu in the living room. You are playing hide and seek with him and he is laughing very loudly when you caught him and you both are having a good time together. Then the calling bell rang and you are told one of the maid to open the door. And from the living room, you are looking at the entrance to know who came to visit. Then your eyes widen in happiness after looking at the person who just entered into your house and you quickly went towards her and hug her tightly. Oh my god, auntie, you are here? I never thought you will come to visit me. You said while hugging her. What you thought Van? If my niece get married to another man who is not my son, then I will forget you. Never my dear, you are my one and only niece. How can I forget you? She said and kissed your cheek. Come inside auntie, I am so happy to see you. You said with a white smile on your face. After she came inside, you both sat on coach and you said, made to bring coffee with no sugar for Mrs. Hun. I am sorry, Vaan, I couldn't attend your wedding. Please forgive your aunt, she said while holding her ears. No, no, auntie, don't say like that. I know Opa got hurt. It's okay. Now I am revealed. I can take breath properly. Unnecessarily, I was tense about this matter. And I was tensed what you will say about not coming to your wedding. She said while placing her hand on her heart area and you smile at her. So, how is your both relationship? Is he taking care of you properly? She said auspiciously, looking at you, and you smiled at her awkwardly and said, Yes, auntie, Tim is taking very good care of me. Thank God, I thought that man is going to torture you, as you both are forced to marry each other. And in this case, I thought many times that if you have become my daughter-in-law, it could have been very good and we can stay happily. But unfortunately, it's my brother's last wish that the young guy should marry you. If not, you could have been my daughter-in-law by now. You didn't understand why she's talking like this all of a sudden and you just smile at her. Oh my, is this cute little boy is his son? She said when she looked at Jungsu, who is playing in his stroller, but you don't know why, but you didn't like your aunt's way of talking today. Yes, auntie, he is our son Jungsu. You said while taking Jungsu into your hands, and Mrs. Lee chuckled at your words. Our son? No, Vaan, he is never gonna be your son. You are just a stepmom. I am damn sure that he never accepts you beside his father. 
and I know he never will give his real mom place to you in future. When she said this, you felt a little hurt in your heart and Mrs. Lee looked at you in a concerned way and then you said, No auntie, you are wrong. Jungso already accepted me as his mom and we are family now. There is no real mom and stepmom like that auntie. Don't worry, we all are okay. Now you all are okay Va and but what you will do when his first wife returns back and want both of them. Tayong can leave you and go to his first wife as she is his first love right for anyone. First love is the best one and no one cannot forget their first love. You became speechless with her words and you became silent. Anyway, leave it dear. Everything has already happened and we can't change it right. I'm here to congratulate you but I'm talking more and more. I'm sorry dear. She said while laughing and you nodded your head as no. You both talk for a long time and you both are sharing everything but even though you are talking with her for the first time you are not liking her company and you are still thinking about her words and a question is continuously roaming in your mind. Even though I didn't like the way my aunt is talking but she has a point. What if really things first wife comes back? and wants Jongsu and him and as auntie said no one cannot forget that first love then when she come back will Taeyong leave me and accept her you were in your deep thoughts and you are not at all listening what mrs han is saying and you are thinking that what will going to happen Wa and where you lost? I'm talking with you only. I'm sorry, Auntie. Um, it's okay, dear. Can I have a glass of water? I'm very much thirsty by talking. Of course, Auntie. Why are you asking like that? I will tell me to bring you water. said and you were about to call maid but Mrs. Han stopped you and said don't call maid Va'an it's my niece house means it's my house so I should comfortable here right don't worry I will get myself to drink water she said while keeping hand on your shoulder and you smiled at her and said You never changed auntie. You always want to do your own work by yourself and to help others also. You are always kind person. You said and she smiled at you and she went towards the dining table and you started to play with Jongsu. After talking with some more time with you, Mrs. Han went back home and now you are preparing Jungsu dinner. That's it. Mrs. Kim, our Jungsu proteinaceous food is prepared. Wow, I didn't thought it will be this much easy Mrs. Lee. It's very simple and healthy recipe for kids. And from now on, I will only prepare food for Jungsu. Mrs. Kim as you say. She said and you started plating Jungsu food into a bowl and you went to living room to feed him. After feeding Jungsu, Mrs. Lee helped you to keep Jungsu in bed and now you are sitting on dining table 
to eat your dinner. Madam, should I serve you dinner now? It's okay. I can serve it by myself. But can you get the kimchi from kitchen which I brought from my home? Okay, madam. I will get it for you. She said and went to kitchen to bring kimchi a small portion for you. Thank you. I love this kimchi very much. I don't know what magic my mom does. She always prepares excellent kimchi. You said while eating. You were eating while enjoying it. But in your heart, it's saying that you are eating alone on this big table and you are feeling alone right now as the young is not here to accompany you. Where is he? Why he didn't come home? And yesterday also I only ate and today also I am eating alone. I don't know I will get chance to eat with him at once or not. I want to share this dining table with my husband while enjoying my food. But I know it cannot possible when he said that he don't have any feelings for me. Boss, today we don't have any work. Then why you are not going home? You never misses any free time to play with Jungsoo, right? Then what happened today, boss? Jack said with a questionable face as Taeyong always creates some time to play with Jungsoo and he is not doing it today and Jack asked like this. But Taeyong didn't give any reply and he lost any thoughts while staring at air. Boss, are you okay? He said while shouting a little. What happened Jack? Why are you shouting? He said while shouting back. Boss, don't get angry boss. I just said like that when you are not giving reply. And are you not going home early to play with Eng Master today? I do want to go Jack but... But what happened boss? Thing was not saying anything and rubbing his forehead continuously as he is worried about something. And while seeing him like that, Jack said, Boss, did you hurt Madam Van? Then Thing nodded his head as yes. And then Jack chuckled and said, Boss, I think you only know how to handle guns and knives, but you don't know how to handle girls, right? He said while laughing, and Taeyong glared at him, and Jack stopped laughing. I'm sorry, boss, but tell me what you did, so that I can give you one solution. You know, right? Till now, I dated many girls, and I have experience in them. He said while smiling.